All right, guys, so all I've got is a hip circle and a band. So I'm just gonna go through a little circuit of what we can do. You feel every breathing in the background, it's just... Ben, hey. not got a dirty phone call or anything, or anything like that. <laughs> all right, so for most circuits, I kind of like to start from the top and work my way down. So all I've got is a hip circle, resistance band, and a bench, so a bench could be anything, could be a park bench, could be a footstool, anything that kind of increase that just thing makes it push up into an incline push up. Standard push ups. Just doing the eccentric portion of a push up. Give it the east a slow eccentric. With a normal tempo concentric, so the lowering is going to be slow. Pushing up at a normal speed. Okay. Added resistance, you can use the band. So from there, what we do is just going to twist it so it makes like an X in the middle. Cross your upper back. We can go through the same, exactly the same exercises. Yeah, slow eccentrics. Slow eccentric with a normal tempo, normal tempo uh, concentric. Ben's holding his breath now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, just like six variations there just for push-ups. Uh, when you're doing body weight stuff, I kind of like to finish with an isometric hold as well. So do your, do your sets and reps. So three to four sets of anything from five to 15 reps. Making sure like quality comes first. So if you feel like you're not getting good reps and you're at 12, don't grind another extra three out. Just stop at 12 until just keeping you in good form. So for an isometric, it's just a hold at the bottom. And you're gonna hold that position. So because you do this right at the end of your set, you can do anything from 10 to 30 seconds to as long as you can. Stick that in the end of, a one of your upper body. Uh, once I've worked chest, I kind of like to do a lot of work on my back. So what I can do there is just pull apart. face pulls where you just hook it around your feet. I'll stand back a little bit so you can see this, but if you do like an overhead press. Okay. 
Okay, so you could use those. That's just using the resistance band. So that'd be like an upper body workout in itself. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just show you what you can do with a hip circle. All right. So hip circles, you can go below the knee, the hip thrust. Band and seated band abductions. Get your feet elevated. <laughs> Don't have my own strength. You get your feet elevated, got abductions as well. That nice one, mate. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Carl. Alright. See you later. Yeah, get home. Yeah, so we've done um, feet on the floor, feet elevated. With the bands as well, you can do, you can do stood up. So we can do start for little cha chas. So front knee bent, slightly bent, it's taking all the load. Getting a good contraction from getting the foot back on this hip circle. Um, get it side to side. So these could be for, for time, you could do it for reps, you know, 20 aside, or you could do it for like a minute. So for the for these for the side to side. You do like a minute, tie it onto a circuit. Um, you could do banded side clams. Let's get pretty tough, pretty quick. Okay, so already. Just then, there's been like what a good 10, maybe 15 exercises that we can do just from using those, those two pieces of equipment, two different type of bands, and something that you can raise up on. Uh, stick those into a circuit, choose like three or four of those, three or four of those exercises, and just bang out like three or four rounds, anything from so you want the reps quite high, because obviously the resistance isn't that great. So it just gives you, uh, gives you a chance to do high reps. It's a bit easy on your joints, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna feel beat up through that. Um, there you go. So like, having, not having a lot of equipment, especially for things like if you go on holiday, things like that, don't blame the fact that you've not got a hell of a lot of equipment or there's not a gym about, because you can do three or four rounds of that three, four, ten, four days a week, and yeah, you'll be, you'll be absolutely fine. All right, I'll keep you going until you get back into the gym anyway. Try that out, I'll see you next time.